Hi people, welcome to my channel. Today we will learn about how to pass a speed bump. But first of all, I wanted to suggest that you subscribe to my channel. Here up, I will leave the playlist with all the driving tutorials that I have done. You see at it. If you like it, you subscribe to my channel. You should know the importance of knowing how to pass a speed bump. If you pass a speed bump faster than you should, you will damage the shock absorbers of your car. How much cost a shock absorber? A kit of shock absorbers, whether they are two front or two back, because they are sold in pairs, more or less two hundred dollars. That's why it's important to take care of them and smooth this speed bump. When you are learning to drive, these speed bumps are very tiresome because you can turn off the car. But for that, you are watching this video. I am going to teach you not to turn off the car when one of these passes and don't damage your car's shock absorbers either. Pepper style speed bumps. The idea is to move to 20 km per hour or less, therefore it will be in the second change. In this example we come fast, we are braking, we came in third, then we go to second, clutch to the bottom, we go to second and we take out clutch smoothly. And once we pass the speed bumps we can return to the accelerator with all tranquility. Medium speed bump. We can see the traffic signal speed bump. So we are holding back, here you can also pass in the second gear change, in this case go down from 3rd to 2nd, but you could also go down from 4 to 2nd for example. The important thing is to go to about 15 km per hour. Speed bumps that stick hard are usually found in residential streets, where we usually walk in the second gear. You have to pass it as twisted or tilted and first with the single impulse that carries the clutch without accelerator these are passed at the minimum speed of your car about 6 km per hour you have to stick to the left or right of your lane to then be able to twist or tilt your car when passing the speed bump when you get to the speed bump you have to be at first without accelerator remember that if you come fast you can break with a clutch and once you get off 10 km per hour, put first without sinking accelerator, passing only clutch speed, as I said before. Once the four wheels of your car pass, you can return to the accelerator. It is that easy to pass a speed bump. Remember that everything is a lot of practice. So to practice these tactics, new driver. If you like this video, give me a like remember to subscribe and share this tutorial see you the other wednesday bye